Welcome to Tea Time with Loda. We are so like, amateur in this. <laughs> but it ex I'm excited about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't have it. I wish I had an editing program for this. I have to remember to speak up, make sure that we get some good volume. Um, also, thank you to Nicole Williams, you stunning woman, you, for <laughs> actually like just taking time out of your day to come up with something for us. That was great. Uh, a a name is, for it? Yeah. We're going with it. We're going with Tea Time with Loda. And we're going to use your picture, and I'm going to go home and color like a child, and I'm so excited. Seriously. So. And, and eventually, when we get uh, more professional equipment, <coughs> mics, and, and uh, editing program, then we'll have like background music that we've created because, you know, we're musicians and whatnot. And uh, it's going to be sick. So thank you for the idea, uh, Tea Time with Loda. We fucking love it. Indeed. It's amazing. Indeed. Yeah. I also want to point out that it's like pretty overcast today and I'm still wearing sunglasses. So yeah, I'm gonna, I, was, I'm gonna, I wanted to point that, that out. I'm going to stop that. And why are you wearing those again? Because, because I left them here and I missed them. them here. Because I missed them. Yeah. Homie yeah, can't, I just, yeah. He can't uh, show up in my house without leaving something here. It's a good thing I don't have any children. Because I would end up bringing them here and leaving them here. I almost forgot my kids here once. You did, actually. <laughs> that was pretty sad. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to start this time. Just uh, seeing how everyone's doing. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Great. Um, I did I was... nothing all day. Actually, no. I went to a swimming pool with uh, the missus and her beautiful daughter. It was awesome. Got to swim around. I smell like chlorine still. And then she just said some awkward stuff right when we got out. Hey, you know, you can just stick your clothes in this dryer thing today, right? When at, you get the, out at the pool. Place? At the pool. You can stick your clothes in this dryer thing that's there. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm going to fully unclothe in a locker room filled with little boys. That's just, thanks, babe. Doesn't make you feel. I totally was gonna say I would, and she's then he just said, thoughtful. Full of little boys, she's just and thoughtful. I immediately was like, good thing I bit my tongue. Cause what? I, <laughs> I mean, it is a good thing. She wasn't thinking about the little boys. No, but it was because she wasn't in the men's locker room, right? Which is more like the boys' locker room. But you, you were the oldest one in there. I was seriously the oldest yeah. one in there. Yeah. It was well, of awkward, course. of course. But you had fun. I did. Awesome, awesome day. I didn't have so, to work, so that's a plus. Yeah, yeah. I did. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I had to work in the pouring rain, which is oh my god! That's so like I was at U-Haul today because I have two uh, two jobs and a prospect. Uh, and today was U-Haul, and I was like, hey, you know, friggin' maybe uh, maybe it'll be a good day, and it totally was. And then it started raining, and I was outside the entire time it was raining, and that sucked. I Mind just, you, I just, and Sammy both work at UL, yeah, so I, I feel just, his pain. I took a shower with my clothes on today. It was horrid. You know that there's a dryer that you can... <laughs> <laughs> it's at u -Haul. You can address it's it in front of your boss. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind for next Yeah, time. no, so I was delivering packages up in Tahoe, and it just started dumping, and I was wearing just a regular t-shirt and shorts. getting dumped, I mean, just slammed with rain, and I'm like, fuck it, whatever, dude. Yeah. Walk back to the post office, just drenched. I found out that the rural that the rural one in Gardnerville does have trucks, though. So I was like, oh. so you want to use your own vehicle? Which I was Sammy, I, to Sammy's that, trying though, to get like, a job at the post office. Like I have a job at the post office, so I go postal every day, five days a week. <laughs> and uh, Sammy, hopefully, will get that too. <laughs> Bazinga! Bazinga! <laughs> Buffalo! Ah! <laughs> he caught it. Yes! Caught it. Oh my God! So, okay, so right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain, explain yourself. I'm gonna yes, explain to you. Because I have okay. no idea why you're yelling at the camera. <laughs> he caught me in a buffalo. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so there's the a... fuck is a buffalo? It's a drinking game that we do. Uh, and it's, and the rules are... You sign are, up once, you're in for life. Yeah, I'm telling you right, like, if you listen to these rules, you're in forever. So I would just, like, skip ahead maybe 15, 20 seconds. If you don't want to be in this. Otherwise um, you're in it, you have no choice. Yeah. Uh, so the rules for Buffalo are not, <laughs> the enough. rules for Buffalo are like if you have a drink uh, in your dominant hand and somebody calls you and they call Buffalo, you have to chug the rest of your drink. But if somebody calls a false Buffalo, then they have to chug the rest. They of have to chug the rest of their drink. So I just saw it sitting on his right side and I just waited. I was like, oh, he's going to do just it. I'm open so to 32 excited. and we have a lot of video left. I'm not going to drink the whole thing. <laughs> I would like to know. Uh, not, nah. with, not within the first ten minutes. Like no, that. yeah. No. I, mean, I think it'd be funny. funny. Yeah, you guys, you guys would have like a live. I'll just take a picture. Or not live, but you guys could just have this, <laughs> watching Philip descend into drunkenness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, end with me mooning you. <laughs> yeah. Which is not it, fun. 
He's Let's got not. no butt. That's why. Yeah, exactly. It's Let's just... not go there. But that's what Buffalo is. At least that's what the, the young boys at the um, <laughs> swimming pool told <laughs> told Sammy. <laughs> Phil has no ass. All right, mm. that was just a little. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, I, I think that's enough of uh, the shit shooting. Yeah, indeed. Unless there's shooting. anything else, is there anything like that you guys wanted to bring up, like what's going on with your, in your lives other than work and napping? Uh, not, really. not really. Well, I mean. You guys have another band. Why don't you guys talk about that for a little bit? Oh, dude. Seconds. That okay. is going on a downward spiral. <laughs> it's not so much going on. <laughs> so, me and Phil are in another project called The Machine Built for War. And I play the drums in that one, which don't compare because he's much, much better than I am. But I'm still good. <laughs> I still stuck the uh, guitar the same. So <laughs> <laughs> um, one, of our, one of our guitars just quit. So, that was kind of a bummer. Uh, and, and our vocalist, Travis, prick, <laughs> he quit. <laughs> but I mean, he was... But we know he won't watch this. Yeah, so. like, he's... But he quit because, like, he, he just feels like he needs to work on that. And I'm like, that's fine. I that's mean, I feel like we all do, yeah, but uh, understandable. Like, absolutely. if you feel like you want to... You need to work on it, that's 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 totally okay. Um, our guitarist, that was, like... He's got some stuff going on, so that sucks. But, so, I mean... It is what it Spots is. Spots are open if you guys are interested, I'm just ah, saying. So you have, yeah. a, you have bass, so guitar, we, drums, you need a, a vocalist, and, and another guitar. And a second guitar player. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of which, like, and our other guitarist was hella cool about it. Like, we, it wasn't like a, we didn't part ways in, like, a bad way or anything. He, he was like, I'll totally help, like, collaborate, or I'll totally help and come down if you guys want. So that's cool. Because wasn't he like one of your main songwriters? Yeah, we yeah. were using a lot of his he was, material. He, he's a great um, guitarist too. Uh, we were using a lot of his material, and then we would just change it up and put like stuff that we've written into it, and then just like I actually just got a text from cool. Zeb saying that we could continue to use what he's written, and I kind of don't want to because oh, I feel like I'm okay uh, with that. Like, yeah. so Zeb's the one that quit? No, 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 no. no. Martin, Zeb. Martin, was Martin, Martin quit. Yeah. Love you, buddy. <laughs> it happens. Um. But yeah, so I mean, we're excited about that. Like, there's still stuff that we want to do, and like, we've got, we still have like a practice space and everything set up, and it's still fun. Like, it's, I love it there. It's awesome because it's not just a thing where it's like, oh, we show up to practice and that's that. Like, it's in the back of this record store, which shout out to Failing Records here in Carson yeah, City Jimmy, for letting us do awesome. that. Jimmy, seriously. you are phenomenal, man. Like, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're letting us, I, and I would suggest Speaking everybody which, check it out, man, because like they've got free arcade games, like all day. All the day. game, like the the cars that you can drive and all that. Like it's free. To practice, you can go play video games instead. Well, I'm yeah. saying when you're taking a break, you know. Or, like, whatever. <laughs> there's free arcade <laughs> games. There's like a ton of records and all this stuff. Like they have a ton of music and like old old stuff and like they've got like. They sell, like, knives and, like, crazy lasers and stuff. Like, this dude lit a freaking cigarette with a laser. It was awesome. But Speaking of, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt. I, I totally forgot to put music on in the background. So, <laughs> that's fine. talk amongst yourselves <laughs> about We're... this band that you guys are yeah. in. And this I'm is a house find, of learning I'm going to go find some music. I got a little bit back here. So He's got a couple things. All right. So, I mean, anyway, dude. My collection is bigger than that in, like, the 2070s. Yeah. 2070. June 16th, 2074. <laughs> Fast forward some more. <laughs> uh, let's I promise we're going to get better at this. Yeah. We are. I mean, in terms of like editing and shit, not not getting better at... No, no, not the actual... Yeah, the process of talking about random things. Because we don't care about that, right? No, 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 no. This is just more for us. I'm not about to <laughs> sit really here bad. and make a checklist of things to talk about. All the time. Are you guys done talking about your band already? Uh, no, it, it's a cool band. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, kind of suck, but like we still like doing it. So <laughs> it's it's cool for me because like I'm not even though I'm the bass player for Loda. Like it's it, it's the bass is the instrument that I started with. Like when I really just like heavily started doing it, and that was like 14 years ago. And. And then, uh, nice. and then I started playing the drums like a year later, and I fell in love with it. Like the drums are my. They taught me how to play drums. They're the too. business. I yeah, I did. I did teach him how to play the drums. That was fun. But actually, um, it was more like, here's how you keep tempo, and then um, you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> 
Which I, th I feel was like... If oh, I can teach okay. you fundamentals and then you yeah. just, like, derive your Nobody own stuff from there. Nobody wants to waste like, their time with somebody who's not serious. So my, then, like, you know. And the thing is, like, I've thought about it and I'm like, I want, I still, I still want to teach drums. So, like, people who are interested in that, too, like, I'm totally open for it. But the thing for me is, like, I don't know musical theory. I don't know how to read sheet music and stuff. Uh, in my opinion, I think it kind of hinders you. Like, it's good to have that base. Um, but I think it hinders you because there's a certain way to do things when you're like for musical theory as opposed to just like if you learn on your own, like whatever your brain comes up with is whatever you can play, like it doesn't matter. So I prefer it to be like that than, you know, just being like, well, this is, you're doing that wrong, you have to play it in this time or you have to do it in, you have to do this beat this way, like no way. So. Come yeah. up with your own style and your own way of doing Drum things. lessons. Yeah. I'll do bass lessons too. Shirky, I know you're watching and I know you said you wanted to do it. And I'm totally down, man. Let's do this. That's awesome. Great bass player. I mean, not like bass players matter, but like... <laughs> oh, jeez. He went oh, there. Oh, I went there. I love you. I love you. I would love to see this fucker do what I do on the bass. <laughs> like, he would fail. I would fail. <laughs> uh, I think of a bass and I turn into jello. Oh. All right, so starts. Let's get, uh, when we recorded last time and lost all the video, um, we we're talking about certain bands that we're really into right now. Uh, that all got lost, so we're gonna pick up, we're gonna redo that. Let's go. Okay, so right now my number one band that I'm into, and I think the majority of you will know this because I've been talking about them nonstop forever, uh, is. Ovid's Withering, and those guys are mind-blowingly good. They're so good. I like. They're so good. It's I can't human. explain it. it yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not him. They're freaking. The, their writing ability, and like their writing ability, their like lyrically and musically, everything. Like it's 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 symphonic deathcore is the way that I would describe it. But it's it has it just they, they have everything and it's so good, and it's all of their like. Music is based like on a theme, so it's all like mythological, sort of like the Greek uh, pantheon of gods has come to an end and they're sort of moving into one they created on their own. Uh, and it's, I mean, and lyrically it shows and it's so fantastic. All of it's been phenomenal, I think. Uh, I don't, I, I'll never, I'll never stop talking about it. They're gonna be my favorite band forever, forever. Yes, they knocked Avenged Sevenfold out of their Forever. number one spot for me. Like, that's it. You know, like, I, I love Avenged Sevenfold. They're, you know, the rev is the reason why I started playing the drums and why I got so into it and all that. But I, and they'll always have, you know, like, that little piece. But, man, I was with her and just, like, blew them out of the water with everything. I would suggest picking up their album uh, that they have right now called Scryers of the Ibis, if that's how you say it. If not, sorry. Uh... <laughs> But, uh, don't quote him. Yeah, don't quote him on that, <laughs> but that's the name of the album. And it's phenomenal. It's how, do you, just, how do you spell the band's name? Oh, it's O V I D apostrophe S W I T H E R I N G. Wow, he did that really quick. Yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah, wasn't, I, like I, I wasn't. Yeah. I didn't almost go to state championships or spelling when I was in seventh grade for no reason. Like, now he's bragging. Hey, so wait, so, <laughs> so when we set up the uh, band uh, Facebook page and we were like, they're like awards and stuff, and you that were was, like spelling beat, you actually tell the truth. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like that was I the thought lie. Was I don't bullshit, know how I didn't know that. that. Everything else on that was bullshit, but except for that. Like, um, yeah. Impressive. Everything on mine was true except for the time traveling Lamborghini. It was you actually know, a think... Geo Prism. <laughs> <laughs> I, now, I just realized one thing that we could have that we can talk about at some point is okay. uh, other stuff. Sure. Because there's lots of other stuff. Uh, band you're into <laughs> other stuff. Uh, actually, a band I'm into right now is something I typically don't listen to, which is called Twenty One Pilots. It's great band. Awesome band. And it's just it's two guys. One guy plays drums. The other one plays uh, the keyboard. And then they got all kinds of weird, I guess, hipster. Tones in there that, if you will. But, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. No, but, uh, it's not like typically what I would listen to. They kind of remind me of, uh, <laughs> sorry, I killed Sammy with that one. No, it's not typically what I would listen to at all because I'm like really into just 
metal, 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 everything. <laughs> but then I, uh, a friend of mine on Facebook posted a video of them, and I was like, oh, I'll check it out. Oh my God. And they're they're really original, really unique. They kind of remind me of the Killers in a sense. But uh, yeah, go check those guys out. They're amazing. Twenty One Pilots. If Sammy can stop dying, maybe we'll move on. <laughs> maybe later we'll be able to talk maybe about Maybe we'll move on to the old man before Jeez, he dies. <laughs> Hipster tones, man. Do you not Hipster hear it? I mean, are, are you like, oh, that's a bullshit description or what? No! Just... no. <laughs> In my head, I was just like... It's a freaking like synthesizer that they use. It for, is. To bring I call in other instruments. <laughs> he just the description was just <laughs> That's too funny. Alright. Hipster toe, on. Jesus. Uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, the thing that I've been listening to the most lately is actually not even music, it's podcasts. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately. Um, some from like Kevin Smith and his universe. Uh, there's different ones, but the one I've really been getting into lately is called Never Was by Mark Solomon, who is a singer from uh, The Crucified back in the day, old Christian punk band. He's in uh, Staves Acre. He's got a new band called White Lighter. Anyway, so... White Lighter. Yeah. That's cool. A lot of what his uh, podcast is about that's is not just... not a good name. White that's Lighter? A, no one wants a White Lighter. <laughs> Which that's is fucked up, because I kind of have one right now. Somewhere. Oh. You'll, you'll leave. You might have left it here already. There it is. <laughs> Every time I go to give him one, oh, don't give me that. It's a lighter. Use it or give it back before I leave it to Jeremy's. <laughs> exactly. Um, but anyways, he he's a uh, a lot of his uh, podcasts lately have been hit <laughs> through a dick and balls. Oh, I'm sorry. Geez, dude. <laughs> I am a child. I'm he sorry. He is. That's right. We all are actually. Um, no, he he uh, reminisces a lot about his time back in the day um, of uh, doing music on this the circuit, you know, and the Christian scene back in the day and stuff, and a lot of the old school things that I used to listen to, and he's talking about it, so it's cool seeing a peek behind the curtain, how they're doing it, how how they did it, what lessons he's learned, what lessons I can learn to bring into my bands as well, so. I don't um, think I've ever heard Stave Zaker. I mean, I've seen them everywhere, because I know, like, they were huge influence on, like, the dudes from NXPX, but, like... I, I don't think I've ever heard that. But they're an amazing band live. Um, I actually, I love their, their CDs and stuff, but um, he's got one of those unique voices that that uh, no one else can really recreate. Yeah. You know? That's so. Anyways, yeah, that's what I've been listening to a lot at work is uh, podcasts, and Never Was is the one that like I really get into. So. <sighs> cool. All right, so you wanted to do uh, video games. Video like, games, like what's, yes. What's uh, the one that's really? We're, I'm we're a gamer. Big into, yeah, we're, we're like. A first of all, yeah. I play PlayStation. Okay, because for I you think, Xbox people out there, get it together. Shut the hell up. Yeah, get it together. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? You have a like, PS3, PS4. I, I have a PS3. I, I didn't even want a PS4. I, honestly, I was like, I don't need one. The PS3 does everything I need, and then I found out that. The new Batman Arkham Knight is only coming out for new next gen stuff. So he's selling his and son. But so. dude, have you seen that the Arkham Knight PS4? Yeah. Like they have one yeah. just yeah. for that. Yeah, that I, I want that. I saw that and I was like, shit. Yeah, I need it. How much like, is it? Just like curious. like five hundred dollars. Okay. Launch. <laughs> it's five hundred bucks. Oh, how big, is how probably going to be like 569 or something. Okay, how big is the uh, hard drive on that? I have no idea. It's like a terabyte? I, I wish I had. I don't know. Huh. I could Google it, but <laughs> yeah, I can't because we're using my phone That's to true. hopefully, hopefully record hopefully, this. Yeah, if this does another, th oh man, he'll be fucking fucking disappointed. Yeah. Anyways, okay. So, what games? What your, PS uh, your PS3 right now. Right now, I'm huge on Diablo three, and and I have the expansion pack, the Reaper of Souls expansion pack, and man, let me tell you, you get so much cool shit with that. Oh my god, you get like an extra act of the game, and it's like freaking incredible. Like, it's so hard though. Like, I've been, I have a, right now I've got like a level 69 or a level 68 demon hunter. We'll and, just uh, say 69. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> keep it real. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I mean, Lily plays with me too, so there's that. She's got a monk and a wizard. Um,. Did you say Demon Hunter? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> Demon Hunter. And it's... Yeah. I, I love it. I, I think it's... I love that freaking game. There's so much cool stuff. 
and it's like an RPG style, and I've always hated them. I hated them. I couldn't stand it. And then Lily made me play it with her. She's like, please, can we try? And I was like, sure, all right, let's do it. So I started playing, and then now I just like, she's like, well, I'm not in the mood. And I'm like, well, I don't give a damn. So here's the controller. You're going to help me beat this guy. And, <laughs> That's what true love is. Yeah. It's true, true love is being able to tell your significant other to shut their cake hole and play the game. <laughs> Uh, no, and what I know immediately was, get smacked in the mouth. Yeah, true love <laughs> is the other one saying, you know what, I, I don't want to, I hate you right now, but I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah. No, true no, love that's is the not. first one. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, true love is, the, is forcing is forcing them to play. Uh, you know, I, it's weird, because I like to keep it old school with a lot of stuff. Like, I found a game that I like and like just can't stop playing it, you know, I'll switch off and on with games. Actually, just today... I was playing a game that was made, like, before, like, your son was born. And it was, uh, Fight Night Round 3. And Damn, it was dude. old as hell. And it was, it's still, like, the best fighting game I've ever played in my life. Like, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat are awesome. I just love Fight Night. Seriously, like, I played Fight Night all day today. I, but I like to, like, Jealous. give myself while a challenge. Try it. I'll, while I'll we do, were like, working. we were working. I'll do, like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll do, like, I'll be Manny Pacquiao. And then I'll fight Muhammad Ali and see how long it takes me to lose. <laughs> I lasted five rounds, but still. Wow. I, I like old school games. Seriously, like, I have a PS3, too. Uh, I did that. Because he uh, knows what's right. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, I have a soul. So, yeah. that's I, I just keep it old school. Anything old is great. New games are, are good, too. Seriously, it's like it's not like you can go wrong. With you know what's great for old out, games, but... man? Centipede. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you know what? Centipede. Game. I actually bought Centipede. I have it on my PlayStation. No way! Uh, you played that one so time. I, I love that freaking game, man. Uh, Centipede. Snake, man. Knees. Snake for the old phones. <laughs> that was tight. The old freaking <laughs> Thor's hammer, Nokia. Just like, <laughs> yeah, seriously. I threw that thing in the toilet and it still came out. Like, what's up? <laughs> Speaking of old school, because I'm not a huge gamer, I, I buy games for my retirement in the future. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like some 70 year old dude, just like all. Motherfucker! <laughs> Why isn't he taking it? Wow! You know, he's not shooting the way out, and I'm just going in a circle. He's gonna be playing Deadpool too, because exactly. I mean, play that game. It's so good. It is Jeez, so good. One of these days. Okay, I heard it. Was uh, great. Yeah. So, anyways, I buy games so that these guys can borrow them and play yeah. them, but uh, and return them seven months. The later. one that I, yeah. the one that I really do play, going even more old school, is uh, Crash Bandicoot Racing. Yeah. Oh wow! With my son, yeah. uh, him and I. Um, get down on that, we'll battle, and then we'll race, and then we'll battle, and then we'll race, and, and all this stuff. Uh, it's actually a good time. He Does love him keep up, though? He's beat me one time in a race. That's nice. One That's time. good. That's and good, though. He, no, actually, he's never beat me in a race, but he has beat me in a battle. One time. Sometimes kids are gifted, like, if you play, I swear, if you play my son, Zarek, at Mortal Kombat, he will beat your ass. It yeah, doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter this. how good, he will beat you every time. Mind it's, you, he's three. Yeah. And he will and own your face. it's frustrating as hell because he's so good. Stop cackling over there! <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're in there uh, watching my son play um, Minecraft, Minecraft right now. Uh, but anyway, so that's that's uh, the game I've been into lately. Is yes. Just playing that with my son. Did you really just put down a child's laughter? That was beautiful. I got it! I wish cool. I thought of that. <laughs> thought of what? This? Yeah, this. Yeah. Exactly. But I would have been a dumbass and cried chop myself in the nose. And yeah, exactly. Oh, and you'd be like, well, see, I didn't even need that gouging, dude. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's get to um, the band of the week, the local band that we're going to talk about. Walkaway Alpha. Oh man, you guys are so kick-ass, man. We've had the privilege of playing with them a couple times now. Twice, now, right? Twice yeah. or thrice. Twice. I've, I've shared the stage with them many times in other bands that I've been in. But yeah, but seriously, these band. guys are amazing. Like, we, we've played with them twice. Uh, I think I watched them open for uh, a local show before. I, I can't remember which show. But seriously, if you haven't heard of Walkaway Alpha, like, just... Look them up. They're on Pandora. Up. Like, they have a yeah. Pandora. So they're, they're awesome. Seriously, will, they're amazing. I think they have Reverb Nation as well, so I'll put links in the video um, that you can copy-paste, whatever. Go check out their music. Um, they've got... One EP and a full length. And yeah, I think so. Um, but anyways, Eric, Trent, Donovan, and uh, Josh. Yeah. Fucking yeah. amazing. Uh, Last time we played with them, I walked up to the stage because they were warming up doing sweeps. And I'm not a sweepist. So I was like, oh, you make that look easy. And he's like, no, it's yet. really easy if you just 
know what the fuck you're doing. Me? <laughs> I was like, oh, fair enough. Thanks, buddy. But uh, really nice guys, actually. I actually had a misfit yeah. shirt on at the time with a hole in the armpit. And I was like, get it, guys. Misfit. And the dude was drunk. Who was it? Uh, I think it was Josh. The guy was drunk as hell. And I had a rip in my armpit. And I was like, my shirt's a misfit. Wearing a misfit shirt. And he's like, huh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> He was laughing so hard. He was like, dude, that was a pun of the year. I swear to God, it was a pun of the year. And then I swear to God, he laughed so hard he almost threw up. I, I felt a little accomplished at that one. <laughs> Got Those guys are good, good dudes. Um, they don't have a bass player, and I don't know if they're looking for one. They're they, they put they're out heavy as fuck. They they they're, <laughs> they're heavy as fuck without a bass player. Um, technical. Uh, they hit like all areas of metal. Yeah, you know. Um, when they put it out last time, I was like weighing my options to see if I could get away with being in three bands. I was like, and have like two and a half jobs. I was like, I could probably do it, but. Probably not. I mean, if my kids ever want to see me again, which they're children right now, they don't need to see me right now. No bullshit, dude. <laughs> That's what they need to see, yeah. man. <laughs> like, my, kid, my kid is eight years old, and I'm already... I go to bed crying sometimes. He's gonna leave in like ten years. I only have him for another ten years. I, I, I'm sad already. I look I, at him, and I'm like bummed that he's gonna I love leave. my kids, man, but I don't like babies. I don't. Like I mean, I love when they were babies. You're gonna I love have them, a baby. Yeah, I am gonna have a baby, and it's he's gonna be a just a regular boring baby, and I'm gonna be like, well, <laughs> let's wait until you can like start to walk and talk, and I can teach you how to say things like fart and poop. So <laughs> Phil, nice guy. Me, semi nice guy. Fucking ass hat over here. <laughs> Fucking guy. Dude, hates kids. Eye gouge. I don't like kids. Doesn't like for the his most own part. kids' laughter. <laughs> yeah, I don't like kids for the most part. But then, like, I get to know a kid a little bit, and I'm like, nah, dude, like, you're awesome. Like, I can hang out with Jeremy's son or Sammy's kids all day. His daughter is. But that's because our kids are kid weird, ever met. man. Yeah. Like, they're just so. Every time I see Logan, he tries wall. to stab me with a missile, like a mythological sword, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I got it. Which way am I supposed to fall? <laughs> Love that kid. Man. So, anyways, Walk Away Alpha. Check them out. They're amazing. Uh, what What is their, the name of their last album? Do you remember? The Tides? Is that what? Uh, no, yeah, no, no. That was at a song. It was. Oh, shit, um, I, I have it right over there. I bought a copy. Um, it's not Destroyers of the Earth. Is it? It might be. I might. I think it is. Sorry, guys. We're, yeah. we're talking about you, and we haven't done our homework as far as like what your last album was. Um, but All we know is that it was badass, okay? Like, yeah, it was so yeah. good. You get, they haven't written a song that I don't like, that I can't rock mm -hmm. out to. So, and True. live, if you, you get a chance to see Walk Away Alpha live, go. Do go. it. Go. You will be standing out there with your mouth agape. If it comes to the choice Wishing. where you need to, like, pay your power bill or go see Walk Away Alpha, go see Walk Away Alpha. Exactly. And then I've done hit that the for streets Megadeth for the shows. power bill. Like. I've done that for Megadeth, so you could do it for Walk Away Alpha. There you go. All right. What do we have coming up? We uh, have a show. Uh, we just got a couple this good ones. This month, uh, June 19th at Davidson's Distillery. Uh, that one's probably 8 not going to... 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. Probably not going to be an all-ages show because it's at a bar. Um, but it is a fundraiser barbecue, so we also there is, don't know. No, I, I did talk to uh, I talked to Brian, our singer, who is not here, um, as well as David, our guitar player, who is not here. Dicks! <laughs> They live in Reno. It's hard for them to get here. Fucking asshole. Um. Anyways, uh, oh. I talked to Brian. Brian said that because it's a fundraiser, there it, there is no cover, so you do not have to pay to get into the show. Awesome. However, I'll buy a shirt. However, um, they are gonna have some grub there. You're gonna have to pay for. It. They're gonna have you know. Yeah. You don't want to get your drink on. Uh, we're gonna have a shit ton of shirts. That you're gonna want to buy and support because we have awesome I don't know. Shirts. First of all, they're comfy as hell. Like sure. this is the comfiest shirt that I own. My Guardians of the Galaxy one. Thank you, Lily. But it like our shirts like rival it. They're just so comfortable. I love them. I think they're fantastic. And our shorts, which have been discontinued so far, Drew. I still have to get you yours, buddy. Um, Asshole. Yeah. No, I, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we had some shorts uh, that I mean. I, I, the first week I had them, I didn't take them off. I wore them for a week straight. I never, I, I never, got, yeah, I never were... got a pair because I, I don't like to take from the band. I'd rather buy them, so I never bought a pair. But then uh, I have like three friends that every time I see them, 
not every time, but every other time I see them and we're just chilling, they're always wearing our shorts. And I'm like, dude, I don't take these off like unless I'm going to work. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. I think the only downside that they had was that they didn't have pockets, but even then, like, the comfort made up for that. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, like, there were times where I forgot they I'll put pockets. it in my underwear Ball band. Like, <laughs> I, I, I would put the phone in my pocket and it would hit the ground and I'm like, oh shit, no pockets. Yeah. So, But it didn't matter. I mean, Yeah, so cool. their shorts were so free. Okay, so... Um, that's June 19th at Davison's at 8 o'clock. That's with uh, two other bands. It's uh, Limbs the Arbitrator, Quarren, and Slate the Creation. Creation. Then, um, Brian, our singer, is working on a show. Uh, I'm just going to tell you about it now and hope that it comes through. Um, he's working on a show for the week after that, June 27th, uh, 26th. June 26th at the Alley. No, I'm sorry. Fucking alleys not the right knitting anymore. factory. Yeah, at the knitting factory. <laughs> um, that's gonna be with. Uh, it's gonna be Must Crackish, their last show. Um, Which sucks, those guys, those guys are, those are awesome. so great. I yeah. love you guys, Mr. Their singer awesome, looks man. like Sideshow Bob, but, but <laughs> more handsome. Yeah, like, he's awesome. So they'll be Check headlining that show. Transient fucking dawn is oh gonna be playing that show. Oh my god, I'm so excited about that. Like, um, so stoked to play that. As I've been told, so I hope that that is uh, actually true. Um, I, I guess I should probably wait until this is all confirmed. But these guys didn't even know about this no, show. Man. I asked them, hey, so you know about you the show? You don't even right? have to ask me and Sammy about shows anymore. We're, We're always going to say yes. We're going, We're going yeah. We, we always will. Yeah. So that's uh, June 26th, and then there's a show now in July. That's an interesting color. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the show in July? Desire. Hmm? The show in July? The show in July, July 26th at Studio on 4th, or I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, we're playing with uh, a band called The Convalescent. The Convalescents. The Convalescents. The Convalescents. <laughs> uh, and I don't know who else is on it. Um, I have like minimal details, but all I know is that uh, they asked us personally to play, which I thought was... Pretty damn cool. Yeah, Thank I you thought guys. that was a huge Thank honor. You. It was awesome. very kind. Like, it was just... I was blown away, because, like, they, you know, other bands see us, and they're like, hey, we dug your stuff. We really want you to play a show with us. And it's and like, never oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and it's like, yes, please. Can, yeah, let's do that. It's a good time. No, I, I'm very much looking forward to that show. Um, I know that we're trying to get in the studio and stuff, and so I've been the prick being like, no more shows. We gotta buckle down. We gotta... Tighten our shit up and, and to get in the studio. I've been thinking that lately, but like since I auditioned like last year in August, it's just like hard for me to be like, what? Don't go play a show. Yeah. Like unfuck yourself. Like there's a <laughs> yeah. show opportunity. But but, then, but Jeremy does have a good point. And you need to buckle down and because he's I would been like doing to. This a really long time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've he been practicing have a very good at home point. like every day. Yeah. I actually told my barber that. Oh, speaking of which, I got a haircut. Check that out. Woo! Oh damn, I know. I actually told my barber today. That uh, our drummer is about to be 145. He's very experienced. <laughs> and still one of the best drummers in the area. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And uh, we just listen to pretty much everything he says as far as advice goes on how to manage our band and do You can pat stuff. yourself on the back if it's true, like just so you guys are yeah. aware. No, I do. I'm very thankful about this because I've been in bands for the last, what, 15, 20 years, and <laughs> rarely am I ever was I ever in a situation where they took anything I had to say. Jeremy, just play faster. <sighs> Uh, Jeremy, uh, that's a good idea. We need a lot of ideas. In other words, your idea is shit. We're not going to take it. Um, so it's nice to be uh, in a band with dudes that actually take what I have to say. Yeah, you're a dude. Oh, my <laughs> Yo, oh did you dribble? <laughs> Part two. This is going to be a two-parter, guys. This is what happens yeah. when the phone rings while you're uh, recording. I hope that cut off my dribble. See no, 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 no. I don't no, think so. Yeah, I don't I think, think so. so either. Uh, the reason that was my ringtone is because I have a hundred uh, custom ringtones that I made myself. That's awesome. And that was just the one that I put on there. So that's cool. how I am. Too. Uh, you get a new one every time. Wow, that sucks that this is going to be a second video, but I guess it's going to be two parter. So that's what happens when you don't have you get editing. forty-five minutes and then a thirty-second video. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, We're creative. All right, so um, we spoke about the shows coming up. Actually, if you use iMovie, you might be able to edit those together. Oh yeah, I probably can. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to figure this out uh, with the genius between the three of us, which equals not that much. Are you, like, our combined IQ right now is probably like above 300. 
saying. I'm gonna go with 69. More. <laughs> I'd love, I'd love to go ah, with 69 too. Uh, man, this strawberry crush has just got me like, woo! <laughs> I'm telling you. I made a spare. Dude, stop <laughs> drawing shit. I'm not trying to. That time was not, and it, it was unintentional. It naturally. Yeah, yeah. He's got to... All right, we're going to wrap this up because we've taken up too much of your time. These guys have to get home to their women's or something. I don't know. She's not even home yet, so. All All right. Our woman's home. But doing laundry. She's not even probably going to help her fold that. I'm going to try to edit these two videos together. Mm -hmm. If not, you're going to get two pieces, and uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, we are going to be uh, shooting, hopefully, next week. I'm getting my uh, Ghost Rider tattoo. Color We're all going to try to squeeze under Dave's tattoo room around yeah. the camera and figure this out. Ghost Look Rider. At that thing. It's badass. Yeah, he's getting filled in on Thursday. So, uh, a week from today. And uh, if you guys want to donate any colors, too, that'd be great. I just, we need colors. Lily does, so I can finish my Gurpool tattoo. Taco. Tacos. Taco. Yeah. Awesome. Anyways, so uh, we just got the YouTube channel set up. Um, if you do a search for Limbs of the Arbitrator Official, you should be able to find it, hopefully. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, once, maybe, maybe once I get some videos put up, that'll be easier to find. Um, uh, and uh, Like us on Facebook, Limbs of the Arbitrator. Looks Follow up. us on the Twitter that we haven't been on in like a year. <laughs> it's been months, but I'll get on there. Or something. Uh, I don't at want. limbs of the Arbit or limbs of the Arbit Loda, Loda official. official. Loda official. Um, I don't twat, so do what you will. Uh, you can follow us individually on Twitter too if you want. Um, a lot of base. Yeah, mine's the Loda base, and his is um, Drummond underscore fool. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyways. Thank we'll we'll put links for our stuff down there. Too. Sure. Uh, thank you for taking the time to check us out, and uh, we will see you the next time, which should hopefully be next Thursday. Oh, you can follow us on Vine too. <laughs> really? Can't yeah. follow me and Sammy. We, we, yeah, we got guess, Vines, man. Oh like, hell yeah! But not a band. Vine. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be <laughs> awesome. We, we I don't should. know about that. We should get like a band Snapchat and everything. You yeah, can follow band us chat. on Snapchat. We dude. should. Oh fuck that new app, Band Chat. <laughs> band Chat. <laughs> Band chat vine. Uh, Snap bands. The music in the background, if you can actually hear it on the phone, is uh, Slipknot's newest album, Point Five, The Great Chapter. Get it. It's awesome. Yeah. It's Rest really peace, good. Paul Gray. Love you, man. You were the shit. <laughs> Weenie.